And so before you guys go out and start eating this and start cooking this and handling this, there's something really important you have to know. The branches of the, of the, fig, of the fig tree and also the leaves of a fig tree have sap in them. And the sap is white. You can very easily see it. Uh, but it is caustic to your skin. It is toxic, essentially. And it will burn. It will burn your skin. All right, fig lovers, this is Ross, the fig boss. Today I'm harvesting fig leaves. Yes, you can actually eat the leaves of a fig tree. I had not known this. In fact, we've been, uh, I've been on a bit of a journey this year trying to figure out how to make use of all of my figs. Uh, there's such an excess this year, I can't give away enough. I didn't do a tasting this year and have everybody over and eat all my figs. Um, so this year, you know, we've been trying a lot of things in the kitchen. I thought, oh, maybe I'll sell some. Maybe I'll go to a farmer's market. Maybe I'll try to get into some restaurants. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to go to these restaurants and they're going to say, well, Ross, these are great, but what do I do with them? And I'm going to look at them and I say, I eat them fresh. <laughs> Call me a purist. So I wanted to figure out what you can do with these with the figs themselves and also the leaves. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this year, we're gonna boil them and we're gonna make them into pesto. This is what I've seen. People say it's good pesto. I've seen it on like pizza. I don't know what to think. I haven't tried it yet. The other things you can do with them, which I have tried, is you dry them. People make tea out of them. They wrap uh, them around fish. They wrap them around different meats. You can also use them as like a substitute that you would use, let's say a grape leaf. Uh, and bake different things inside of them. Um, and this imparts a coconut flavor to them, a fig leaf flavor to them. Uh, make a syrup so you can infuse uh, the flavor in this into a syrup. Just cook sugar and water in a pan, cook that down to the consistency you want, and while you're doing that, you throw in some fig leaves. Making fig leaf ice cream. I have heard that it's like some of the best ice cream you can make. I don't know if I necessarily believe that, <laughs> uh, but this is, I've heard this from multiple sources. So, you know, there's so many uses for figs themselves and it's amazing to me that the leaf is even edible. I don't even know you could eat it. So let me guys, let me show you guys how it's done really quickly. We're going to choose a leaf lower down on the, um, on the branches here. But just as an example, if I wanted to take this one uh, right here in front of you guys, I'm going to grab it by the leaf and cut it off by the stem. So that way we're leaving very little stem. We don't want to eat the stem. Of course, you probably could. I don't know every little thing about these leaves, but certainly this is going to be more woody and probably not very good to eat. So. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, if you're going to be making pesto as an example, I would harvest them without the stem. Leave the stem on there and what will happen is over time this stem will just fall off the tree naturally. Um, and then that way um, you're harvesting them, I think, easier. It's making it easier to process these leaves for pesto. And you're not like pulling on the tree like this, which then just gets sap on your arm. Now some people claim that they're immune <laughs> don't be one of those people and think you're immune if you are handling these fig leaves and you're harvesting leaves like we're gonna like i'm doing today wear long sleeves wear gloves and when you're done wash your arms and your hands if you have exposed areas of your skin with dish soap and scrub it. If you get the sap on your skin and it starts to feel quite itchy and you feel a burning sensation, you need to get that off your skin right away. And then when you're done, like let's say later tonight as an example, or the, the, the night of, wherever you felt that burning sensation or that itch, put some hydrocortisone on it. I, you guys probably didn't think that I was a fig dermatologist, but every year I get burns on my skin and I'm not even harvesting the leaves. So you want to select probably a tree that is growing very quickly and also a tree probably that's done fruiting. 
Um, I wouldn't want to be harvesting the leaves earlier in the season. It's now the middle of September. So if we're doing it earlier in the season, that's going to remove the tree's energy source, right? If you think about it, this is how the tree gains energy from the sun. So if we remove the leaves when the trees need it most, that's not good. We also don't really want to be removing these leaves later in the season too much either because the trees need to lignify. And if we remove all the leaves, again, there's no energy source to help harden the branches and prepare them for the winter. So I don't like doing this on potted trees. I don't like doing this on in-ground trees that are young. I think you need a tree that's at least been in the ground for three or four years before I would consider doing this. And I would choose the leaves from branches that are already growing very fast and vigorous, um, like a sucker. How do you know what a sucker is? It started out here as pretty much nothing down here at the base. And it grew a very thick branch, by the way. And this thick branch got to, so far this season, almost seven or eight feet tall. So if you're gonna be um, getting leaves from uh, suckers, the leaves are gonna be very healthy, number one. They're probably gonna be bigger they're also probably going to have a darker green color to them and probably have more nutrients in them. All right, fig lovers, so that was the end of the video. Please, if you have any recipes, do me a favor, put them down in the description. I'd love to see what you guys are doing with your figs and also the leaves themselves. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe, subscribe button for me, hit the like button for me. Check out my blog, figboss.com. I'll put some uh, links to recipes in the description. Thanks for watching this one.